Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will talk about using Laplace transform to solve for first or second order differential equations. In previous lesson, we have learned that Laplace transform is an operation which transforms one function into another function. Laplace transform comes with properties which are very useful, so let's review that. The first property of Laplace transform is if you take Laplace of a function multiplied by a constant a, then you can bring that constant a across the Laplace transform sign. The second property of Laplace transform is if you take Laplace transform of a few functions, then what you can do is you can take Laplace transform of each of these individual functions. In this case, the sum of each of these individual functions. The third property of Laplace transform is also very important. If you take Laplace of the first derivative of y, then it equals to s multiplied by Laplace of y subtract y evaluated at 0. Another important property of Laplace transform is if you take Laplace transform of the second derivative of a function, then it will be equal to s squared times Laplace of y, subtract s, multiply by y, evaluate at the value equal to 0, subtract y prime, evaluate at the value equal to 0. The third property in this chart is very important for us to use to solve for the first order differential equation in example 1. Before we can solve for this first order differential equation, I would like to go over a few important steps. So first of all, Laplace transform is an operation. So if you take Laplace transform on one side of the equation, you must do the same thing on the other side. So step number one, is take the Laplace transform of both sides of the equation. Then, we can apply the Laplace transform properties. The next step is to solve for Ly. And please note that Ly equal to Fs, and Fs is equal to the Laplace transform of Ft. The next step is to use algebra to manipulate the expression so that we can match certain transform. The last step is to take the inverse transform to find y equal to ft. Denoted by ft equal to the plus inverse of the capital F function in terms of s. So let's solve for this example 1. Before we do that, Let's ask this question. If you want to solve for the first order differential equation, so what do you want to achieve? So you want to achieve, what is y equal to? So in this case, y equal to f of t. Okay, that means you have to express a function in term of t. So I will take Laplace transform on the left-hand side of the equation. So Laplace of y prime plus 2y equal to Laplace of t times e to the negative 2t. Okay. So I can apply the Laplace property to break this into two terms. So I will have Laplace of y prime plus Laplace of 2y, 
which I can bring to across the Laplace sign. Okay. At this point, I would like everyone to take a look at the right hand side. Okay, take a look at the right hand side. So in this case, what you are looking at is you are applying Laplace to this function. It means that you will transform this function into another function in term of s. So let's go to our Laplace transform table and find what transform that I can use in order to transform this function in term of t into another function in term of s. So on our Laplace transform table, I found that I can use Laplace transform number 11. So Laplace transform number 11. So let's write it down. Okay. Transform number 11. So transform number 11 said this. Okay, if I have t e to the negative a t, I can transform that into 1 over s plus a all of it square. So in this case, I realize that a equal to 2. So on the right hand side of the equation, now I can write it as 1 over s plus 2 all of it square. Okay, note that you are taking the Laplace transform sign away because you already perform the operation with transform this function in terms of time into another function in term of s. So on the left hand side of the equation, I will apply the Laplace property, which is very important, which is this one right here. So I will write Laplace transform of y prime is equal to s times Laplace of y subtract y evaluate at 0 and I still add that with 2 times Laplace of y still equal to what I have on the other side which is 1 over s plus 2 to exponent 2. So now at this point the initial value given to me as y of 0 equal to 0 so this one is already equal to 0. Okay. So at this point, what I will do is I want to factor out Ly. If I factor out Ly, I will have x plus 2 inside the bracket. So s plus 2 equal to 1 over s plus 2 all of it to exponent 2. So the next step is to isolate Ly. To isolate Ly, I will divide s plus 2 to the other side of the equation. So I will write it as s plus 2 divided by 1. The reason I'm writing s plus 2 divided by 1 because I want to remind everyone that if you divide two fractions, one into the other, what you need to do is you change that into a multiplication and it is the reciprocal of the next fraction. So let's write this to exponent 1. So I will have Ly or Laplace of y equal to 1 over s plus 2 all of it to the exponent 3. All right. OK. So we are going to do another transform here. So on this side of the equation, okay, you need to transform this into a function in terms of time. So when you transform this, it means that you are going to take Laplace minus 1 of fs. Basically, you are converting this function in terms of of s into another function in term of time. And Laplace invert of f of s 
is actually equal to ft, which is equal to y, which what you need to do in order to solve for this first order differential equation. So at this point, I will have to go back to my uh, Laplace transform table to see what Laplace transform that I can use. So go back to our table. On this table, I can see that I can use transform number 12. Okay, so let's write transform number 12 beside this function in term of s. So let's write transform number 12. And this transform number 12 said that I should have n factorial over s minus a, all of it to the exponent n plus 1. Okay, so from here, I would like you to take a look at the number 3. So number 3 has to be equal to n plus 1. Okay, so 3 equal to n plus 1, therefore n is equal to 2. Okay, and in this case, a is equal to minus 2. So you need to transform that into t to the exponent n times e to the exponent a times t. So in this case, I have to have n factorial somehow, and n is equal to 2. So what I will do is I will write 2 to the exponent, 2 to factorial, okay, s plus 2, all of it to the exponent 3, because I make 1 into 2 factorial, so basically I multiply by 2 factorial. So at the same time, I need to divide it by 2 factorial. So that means I multiply by 1 over 2 factorial. And what is 2 factorial equal to? So 2 factorial equal to 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. Okay, so at this point, you perform this step. So therefore, on this side of the equation, everything will have to be in terms of t. So we have 1 over 2, okay, multiply by t to the exponent n, which is 2 squared, and then e times e to the exponent 8t. So that means I will write e to the exponent negative 2 times t. Okay. So I have achieved my purpose. I have solved for this first order differential equation. In the end, I have y equal to a half t squared e to the exponent negative 2t.